Hey everyone, I'm Elder Young. And I'm Elder Quinn. And this is... Monday with the Missionaries. Tonight we wanted to share a little bit of an object lesson with you about silencing our temptations and how we can overcome them and uh, be better than them. And in doing that, uh, sanctifying ourselves, coming closer to our Saviour. Um, because we know that He loves us and that He's prepared a way for us to overcome these temptations because we'll all face them eventually. It's not something we can run away from. It's not something that we can overcome by ourselves. Um, and so, Elder Quinn is going to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um, so, for us in our lives, this coin could represent our uh, temptation in this jar, us. And we close. With nothing protecting us, it can be pretty loud and distracting for us to easy to fall into those temptations of life. But lucky for us, like we said before, uh, there is a plan, there is a way prepared for us to overcome these temptations. And that comes in the form of cotton balls. And what these cotton balls represent, uh, Elder Quinn is going to tell us a bit more about now. Yeah. They can uh, represent the things in our lives that will help prevent temptation in our lives. Things that may invite the spirit in our lives, such as um, prayer, uh, seeking guidance and counselling on how best to overcome and what to do with these temptations. Um, church attendance, so we may have the Spirit in our lives and can have the sacrament every week to have the Holy Ghost with us. Um, reading the scriptures, which will also help uh, invite the Spirit into our lives. And as all these things build up, it will make us uh, strong and better able to resist a temptation, so much so that Eventually, that temptation might not seem so big anymore. And now... Yeah. Temptation is now silenced through all the good things the Gospel tells us to do that will help us um, live closer to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it makes us think of a scripture that's found in the Book of Mormon. And it's found in Hillman, chapter 3, and it's verse 35, and that reads... Nevertheless, they did fast and pray oft, and did wax stronger and stronger in their humility, and firmer and firmer in the faith of Christ, unto the filling their souls with joy and consolation, yea, even to the purifying and the sanctification of their hearts, which sanctification cometh because of their yielding their hearts unto God. And so one of the things that we learn from this scripture um, and from their example is that they fasted and prayed often. They didn't just do it once. They, it wasn't a one-off thing that they did. It was something that we need to repeat continually um, to help us have the strength to overcome those temptations, to help us grow our relationship with our Savior Jesus Christ. And so, you know, one or two faith, one or two prayer, one or two scripture, cotton balls isn't gonna isn't gonna keep that temptation quiet inside of us. Um, but we do know that as we do it often, as we do it continually, that uh, we'll have that joy, that consolation that it talks about, that our hearts will be purified and that we'll be sanctified, we'll be set apart from, from the world through Christ. And as that happens to us, then we'll have strength that we never even thought possible to overcome the temptations that we face in our lives. And, um, and I want to bear my testimony to you and say that I know that this is true, that I know that Jesus Christ is our Savior and Redeemer, that He loves us, that He performed the atonement because He wanted to prepare a way for us to live with our families again, to return to our Father in Heaven. And um, I know what Elder Young says is true, and I know as we try to overcome these temptations of the world, the Lord has provided ways for us, and as we pre willingly prepare to do so, the temptation might not seem uh, so daunting anymore in our lives and I'd like to leave you this message in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.